Hello, everyone. I will introduce the practical lab advanced system programming in C and Rust. First, let us introduce ourselves. This course is organized by Chair of Distributed Systems and Operating Systems. Our research topics include operating systems and virtualization, distributed systems and cloud computing, hardware security and hardware OS code design, binary translations and memory models, quantum software systems, and more. If you are interested in this topic, please check our website. The goals of the courses are sixfold. First, acquire fundamental knowledge to build robust systems. Familiarize yourself with end-to-end -end system design and learn techniques for profiling, debugging, and optimization of low-level code and get a good understanding of memory and resource management and improve hands-on experiments with a variety of programming tasks. And finally, and importantly, have fun. Now I will explain the course material. In this course, we will use GitHub Classroom for programming assignment. Each assignment will be released almost weekly, and the deadline for each task will be two to three weeks, depending on the difficulty. Assignments should be submitted through GitHub Classroom. Once submitted, automatic test will be executed, and if the test pass, the assignment is considered complete. If the test do not pass, please leave the test result and revise your assignment by the deadline. There will be weekly Q&A Zoom sessions. Attendance is optional, but if you have questions, please attend these sessions. The sessions will be recorded and available for later viewing. We also have a Slack channels for create questions and discussion. Grades will be determined solely based on programming assignments. There will be no further exams or presentations. Please check the website for the detail and the latest information. For assignments, you can use C, C++, or Rust as your programming language. You can switch the language used for each done each assignment. Your programs should work on x86-64 Linux systems. If you do not have this environment, please use a virtual machine or a similar solution. Now I will explain how to use GitHub Classroom. First, you need to have a GitHub account. If you do not have one, please create an account. GitHub offers various benefits for students, so be sure to check them out. For each task, we will send an email with an invitation link to GitHub Classroom. Please click on this link to join GitHub Classroom. When you join GitHub Classroom for the first time, you will need to select your identifier. Please use your matriculation number as your identifier. You will accept the assignment by clicking the accept button. Upon joining GitHub Classroom, a repository for your assignments will be created. Please push your answers to this repository. Please do not modify the files in the test and .github directories. We will later check if these files have been modified. When you update the repository, test will be done automatically. If the test passes, a green mark will appear and the task will be considered complete. If the test do not pass, please refer to the test results and revise your answer accordingly. You can click the test result button to view the detail of the test. Here is an example of the test result where you can see logs and test scores. 
Please note that your grade will be based on the test result from the commit closest to the deadline. Also, only the result from the main branch will be considered. Now I will explain about task zero. The challenge of this task is to implement salt. The purpose of this task is to get familiar with GitHub and GitHub Classroom. Please check the repository for the detail of the assignment. I will introduce some approaches to assignments. First, if you have any questions about the task, please check the documentation first. There are documents for C, C++, and Rust. Also, for system calls and OS related information, there are MAM page documents. You can browse the MAM page with the MAM command, and you can also check it online. Please note that documents can often be inaccurate. So, referring to other code can be also very helpful. For example, for a C code, system D and master C code can be helpful. Also, Linux code is useful to check how Linux works. It is important to get familiar with the code search tool. LibGrep is one of the popular code search tools. There are also online code search methods such as GitHub code search. If your code does not work, you will need to debug it. With debugger, such as a GDP and last GDP, you can debug program interactively. Note that to use a debugger, you need to compile binary with debug symbols. For GCC, you need to have a hyphen G option. There are also GUI interface for GDP. Also, the simplest debugging method is print statement. For example, in C, you can get useful output using the format present here, and in last, you can use debug macro. That's the end of this video. Please check the website for the latest information. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in Slack channels or in an online session. Thank you for your attention.